I picked up the new Fenty Beauty Soft Lit Foundation and I am going to be doing a full day wear test on this. First impressions. I'm really excited. I haven't had a Fenty foundation in quite some time. So I have very high hopes about this foundation. I honestly wasn't sure if I wanted to try another Fenty foundation. The last one I bought was the Ease Drop. And I love that one so much. I haven't been interested in any foundation from Fenty since. I didn't get the Pro Filter Matte one. And the last one I got was the Luminous one. I can't remember the name of this one. Pro Filter Hydrating one. This one wasn't my favorite. So I'm really curious to see if this one will make me fall in love with the Fenty foundation the way that the Ease Drop did. So before I go in with the Fenty foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier. This is a brand new sunscreen, the SPF 50 Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. 50 ml is a product, I paid $32 I believe it is. It is listed as invisible. It is a chemical sunscreen. You're not gonna get a mineral sunscreen that is invisible and clear. For normal dry combination oily, that's great. Broad spectrum, I, would never use something like this for all over my body. There's not enough product in here for the price that you're paying. And I think that's really important to keep in mind. The thing that caught my eye was it's mentioning fine lines and wrinkles, dryness and redness for skin concerns. Sephora describes this as a lightweight gel. I haven't opened it yet. To be honest with you, I haven't had a chance to, so I'm looking forward to this. It has rice phyto compounds in it and aloe leaf juice. Oh, oh, okay. This is it on the back of my hand here. That's pretty nice, okay. I'm gonna use this first and put this everywhere. And like I mentioned, I don't recommend spending this much money on a chemical sunscreen just because it's clear to use all over your body. That is a very expensive sunscreen. I do have in comparison, I do have in comparison a couple sample sizes of the Super Goop Mineral Unseen Sunscreen and the chemical sunscreen, which is the Glow Screen Body Broad Spectrum. These are both 40 SPF. I've got both of these. I'll have to compare those another time. I actually like using sunscreen first. I want this to be my ultimate barrier before using primer foundation and things of that nature. This should just be my final barrier of protection from the sun. I know everyone debates, well, everyone. I know people debate on when you should use your sunscreen, whether it's before primer or after primer. Mine, my stance is always before primer. It should be the one thing that you obviously wanna use the most of. Make sure you cover every nook and cranny, even your ears, that kind of thing. And I find it's easier if I'm going to use this first to not disturb other products. So my stance is always to use this first. There's no odd scent to this, so that's really actually nice. And it has a nice silky texture to it, so it feels good in my hand. I am gonna go ahead and forego, go ahead and forego my primer today. I do wanna try this with just my sunscreen. I am, oddly enough, really excited about this foundation. This is the brand new Fenty Beauty Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. <laughs> Let me just get that out. Oh my gosh. Normally, I love a luminous foundation. This is described as, what is it, a luminous matte, I think it is. I have mine in the shade 170, at least. That was the shade I bought. I'll do a little shade match here for you in a second. This one is a hydrating and glowy foundation that's waterproof, reduces shine for a notch above natural finish, which sounds very intriguing. Medium coverage. It hydrates, brightens, and improves the look of skin tone immediately and over time while resisting sweat, humidity, and transfer. I picked this one up in the shade 120. They don't have a, so they have a very fair cool undertone and then it has a oh excuse me I'm sorry a fair neutral undertone but not one that's kind of in between 110 and 120 or 120 to 130 that's just cool tone they're, so they're both neutral I haven't swatched this or anything so this is actually really nice packaging in comparison to the squeezy tube glass it's not plastic 
This is a 12 month shelf life. Oh, it does say shake well. Let me fix. Oh, I was about to pump it on my hand without shaking. So here is shade 120. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the back of my hand for you. I say a little bit and I definitely did a full pump and wasted that. Consistency feels a little bit different. Oh yeah, very different. So the texture of this the viscosity is quite a bit thinner than the old one. Definitely more runny. Shade 120. Shade 170. Oh yeah, much, much thicker. So this one feels a little more serum -y. This one less so. 120, 170. These both look luminous and honestly it's a little bit difficult for me to tell if this one is more or less luminous i'm gonna go ahead and swipe this onto my face i don't want to waste any of the product that's on the back of my hand and i do want to make note that it is one o'clock in the afternoon i meant to do this much earlier just a lot of things came up and oddly enough, I know this is going to sound strange, but there is a lot that comes out with one pump. <laughs> There's a whole lot. Nope. I'm not going to do any color correcting because I really want to see how well this covers any of my dark spots and acne. This feels so nice in the hand. It's not overly heavy or uncomfortable. This is a Marc Jacobs foundation brush, by the way. Oh, and if you haven't noticed or caught it, Wayne Goss is releasing a new synthetic brush line. It looks so exciting. And Danessa Merricks has released a launch date for the new Yummy Skin brushes, May 9th, if you sign up for the early notifications. And then the official is May 10th. It feels nice. There's no scent to this, thankfully. I don't recall there being a scent to the old foundation. I don't have the Fenty matte foundation i never bought that one that one was never interesting to me and i was in a very heavy luminous foundation phase at that time i still love my luminous foundations but i'm more of a satin this foundation is listed as neutral it's definitely coming across neutral i can see more of that neutral yellow undertone to it so if you are a cool undertone like myself and you like more pinky undertones this one i think will be okay I'm going to zoom in and show you, but right now with just the one full pump and the little bit that was still on the back of my hand, I think it looks stunning. Oh, it's almost completely dried down too. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So before concealer and powder, all that fun stuff that I would usually do, my dark spots, try not to look at my nails too much. Very rough weekend, let me tell you. These dark spots here, they covered them really, really well. This is a perfectly solid medium coverage. It looks nice. My under eyes are still looking really not the best because it's been a long night, but it looks nice in my forehead so far. The redness on my cheeks are neutralized pretty well. I would say this is a very lovely medium finish for the one and a half-ish pumps that I used. Let's try building this up a little bit. I'm gonna use one more pump, just the one. Try to build this up a little bit more. What I'm looking for with the one extra pump is just to see if it is buildable because I prefer medium to full buildable. I wanna be able to know that my foundation will hold up and not tear itself apart when I layer on top of it. But for an everyday medium, this is a gorgeous satin finish. It's got some luminosity to it, but it has that satin finish that I enjoy. So I would have to agree, at least from the very first application, that it has that soft filtered look, soft matte. To be honest with you, that layered over itself so well. My forehead actually, forehead looks surprisingly good for having that extra layer on it and no primer. Before I powder and do all the fun stuff, the tackiness of this is minimal. It feels as though it's pretty self-setting. I think if I give this maybe a few more minutes, it would be good and be fully set. And it did definitely feel more set before I added that top layer. 
While my lashes are drying the glue on them anyway, I'm gonna use my RMS bronzer in the shade Beachwalk Betty. I am loving this bronzer. It is a beautiful formula. I love the shade of it the most, far more than the Armani bronzer I just bought actually. <laughs> This shade is perfect for my skin tone. Now, shade range needs a little bit of work because there's only four shades. And I definitely think we can do a lot better with our bronzer shade ranges. But this glowy formula, if you don't have a sensitivity to coconut, because there is coconut in here, this is stunning. And then really quickly, I'm gonna use the RMS blush in the shade French Rose. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. And this is also a glowy blush. So if you're not into glowy blushes, you probably won't like this, but this is a much better formula than the Rare Beauty glowy blushes that just launched. Not so overly highlighted, just the right amount of luminosity. I'm gonna buff this down with my Suku powder. This is the shade 102. It was limited edition from last year. It has a very luminous finish to it, and I want to buff around the edges of my blush here. Voila! This look is completed. It is officially, it's officially 2.35 in the afternoon. If you're seeing what I'm seeing right now, you see that my forehead is looking great. For just having a sunscreen on, my forehead looks fantastic. My smile lines, they look lovely. The finish of this bronzer with a very light dusting of powder. Sorry, bronzer, goodness, foundation, pardon me. Finish of this foundation looks so beautiful. It's set down, I did a touch of powder, babies, you know, things of that nature. I did finish off my lips with the Lisa Eldridge Lip Pencil in C1 and the Pet McGrath. This is the shade Nude Venus. My foundation looks amazing. It is 6.55 in the evening. It's been on for going on six hours now. And to be quite honest with you, I did leave and come back. So I've been doing a couple things throughout the majority of this afternoon. This looks amazing. Okay, here's where we are right now. My 11 C's actually look really good. And I call them that because I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. These look amazing. And I don't have my usual primers on. I just have the sunscreen underneath this. My forehead frown lines look really good. And I'm honestly quite surprised. My smile lines and around my nose, I'm looking a little bit shinier. Not worse for wear by any means. If anything, it just looks really nice and I could take a blotting paper to it and it look fresh. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation first impressions. Everything on my face will be linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.